earning season is over for the industry, and I think we had one of the strongest stories, and nothing has changed. Uh, our guidance for the full year, our long-term guidance towards 2020 continues, so we're on a nice trajectory. The markets are fluctuating right now, but again, the intrinsic value of our stock is something we're still very positive about, and there's things we control, and that's what we're focused on, the things we can't, unfortunately we can't, including, unfortunately, not being able to hear you, gentlemen. Oscar, I know it's hard to hear, so I'll keep this quick. This is Phil. Uh, how do you feel about holiday demand and what you are seeing in terms of booking patterns it. heading into November and December? Uh, the question is on holiday demands. Uh, it's a little far out. Uh, we're seeing some early markers, uh, nothing to report, uh, other than the fact that uh, we don't see any difference uh, from what we projected here just a few uh, weeks ago on our earnings call. The other question, Oscar, that I think a lot of people uh, have is um, you took delivery of 737 Maxes earlier this year. There was the accident over in Indonesia. I know they still are looking for the cause. No indication there. But from right. what you're hearing from your crews, how do you feel about the 73 Max, 737 Max that is in the United Fleet? Well, first and foremost, um, 199 people perished in that, so our first thoughts and prayers are to the families of that, and it's an awful event. Uh, with regards to what we're hearing, I think it's way too early to speculate. I know everybody wants a lot of information. We're in contact with the manufacturers, and again, until they're done with the investigation, it's really just not a good thing to speculate on anything might have happened. Uh, we do have, we don't have the 37 Max 8 specifically in our fleet, but we have the Max family, and it's been a great product for us.